The island of Tori is just off the coast of Ireland, and it has around 130 inhabitants. It's known for the fact that it has its own king, who is responsible for meeting visitors and representing the island in any official sense as required. The current king of Tory Island is a painter called Patsy Dan Rogers. Pitcairn Island is the last existing overseas territory that still is technically owned by the British Empire. The inhabitants are all direct descendants of sailors who committed mutiny on the HMS Bounty, and the burned wreckage of the ship can actually be seen in the surrounding water. Oddly enough, Pitcairn Island is now mostly known for its fantastic honey. Oh, give me some of that Pitcairn honey! Monoriki Island wouldn't be worth mentioning if it wasn't for the film Castaway starring Tom Hanks. Monoriki was where they shot the film and it has since become a huge tourist resort. While the island itself is actually uninhabited, there are several islands within a few miles that house thousands of people. I wonder if Wilson's still there somewhere. In the 18th century, cats were brought onto Tashirojima Island in order to protect the silkworm farms from the local mice population. Eventually, the business faded, as did most of the Cat Island's human inhabitants. Now little more than a hundred people remain, while the island is now mostly occupied by thousands and thousands of cats. There are even cat-shaped lodges for tourists to stay at. Just please, don't bring any dogs. The aptly named floating islands of Lake Titicaca are completely man-made. They were created from a base of floating totora reeds, which when woven together create water-resistant mats. Those mats are then strapped to each other and fastened to the bed of the lake with a rope. The Euros built their islands to avoid conflict with other tribes and they've been living peacefully ever since. Okunoshima Island was a source of Japan's chemical weapons for the Second World War. Colonies of the rabbits were brought to the island to test the poison, but are now the island's main residence. The island is now a popular tourist resort which offers factory tours, a golf course, camping grounds, but most people come to see the hordes of adorable bunnies. Oh, aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely bunnies? We shouldn't mix these guys up with the cats either, I don't think. Palmyra is a beautiful remote island, but there's a reason why the land is completely empty. It's been the site of several supernatural myths, bizarre occurrences, and even a double murder over the past 30 years. No one dares go there besides the occasional scientist conducting research in the area, and those guys will probably end up getting double murdered too, eh? Gah, terrifying. Sable Island has been the site of roughly 500 shipwrecks. The island is completely unoccupied, except for a hundred or so wild horses that were left there by sailors. Now somehow they've managed to survive for decades with only seagrass and rainwater. Crazy horses. Everyone has their own idea of what a tropical island should look like, but Socotra Isle is completely different. The sand is a deep red colour, similar to Mars, and the animal population is almost entirely exclusive to Socotra Island and can't be found anywhere else on Earth. The only tree growing on the island is the dragon's blood tree, which presumably doesn't grow actual dragon's blood. Uh, anyway. Many people refer locally to this mystical island as being the Isle of the Dragon's Blood, which I'm not going to lie, that sounds really cool. North Sentinel Island is inhabited by one of the last known groups of uncontacted people in the world. They resist all forms of communication, usually with spears, and have been known to aggressively attack any boats or aircraft that attempt to board their island. Yeah, with, you know, arrows and spears. The island is heavily forested, which means we know almost nothing about the people who live on North Sentinel Island, and we probably never really will. 